Okay, what does the Bible have to say about the New World Order? Um, the New World Order, it's, an, it's, a, it's a term that has been pegged on the globalist. Um, you know, it, it's the same thing that's always been and it always will be. There's always going to be generations of people that fall away from God. There's always going to be nations who win their their sovereignty and and win their uh, freedom from the curse of the bank or Babylon, and um, and so you're always going to have a new world order where. Uh, the people that you borrow from in the nation, as a nation, uh, will always have power to um, buy up all commerce, go through the nations, buy up all their commerce, and invade other lands through this counterfeited money, which the Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, this whole entire system of the UN uh, which was created by bankers, the United Nations, which unites the nations. Uh, all this can be found in the book of Habakkuk 2, uh, in the book of Habakkuk. So you have to read the book of Habakkuk. Um, read that book, get to know that book, understand it. Um, you know, it's the vision of Babylon in the last days. It's a curse to the nations. Habakkuk 1 5 behold you among the heathen or nations uh, You know study it in the Strong's Concordance get to get to know the words in the original Hebrew to understand um, So in Habakkuk 2 verse 5 it says uh, He is greedy as the grave and like death is never satisfied. He gathers all nations to himself that's the UN, that's the bankers. What they are doing is they are gathering all the nations to themselves. They're, they're forcing democracy um, controlled by them on all the nations. Um, what they do is they try to force their God, which is fake money, a fake money system, a counterfeited money system where where money is easily lent out because um, they counterfeit it so it comes out of nowhere it's just simple uh, you know signing of a piece of paper that creates money and um, it creates an image uh, which is your name in capital letters in which you contract with this uh, Babylonian system um, of fake money and you become part of this entire system through the straw man, through the image of the beast. Um, uh, you are the beast if you contract with that image. So um, God wants you to come out. He wants you to redeem your straw man. He wants you to burn their images. Deuteronomy 7.25 says, Their graven images of their gods shall you burn. So the images were created from their gods, which is fake paper money. Um, whenever the bankers control a nation, uh, the way they do it is the borrower is a slave to the lender, so they, f they force their money system on you, and the way that their money goes into the economy of the nation is the nation borrows it, so they become debtors. And when they borrow it, they have to have a, an image. They have to have a con, uh, straw man in which to do business through because it's the law of commerce. It's international law, the law of the sea. It's not the law of the land. It's not the constitution. It's not freedom. It's, it's contracting and giving up your rights in exchange for privileges. It's giving up your birthright in exchange for, for privileges. Uh, in exchange for a full stomach. 
Um, so when nations fall away, they, they incur this curse of Babylon. Behold you among the heathen or nations, fallen nations. So, um, so what's going to happen is um, he gathers all nations to himself. That's the bankers. That's Babylon. That's the UN. Uh, they're gathering all nations to themselves. Um, they're using the UN to go into all these countries and force their God or their money system on it. And um, and then what God is going to do in the last days is he says that he is raising up an alliance of great nations against her. So, and the Bible also says in Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8, it's going to be pretty hard to find it in the King James Version because you're not going to understand what, <clears throat> what uh, the language is saying there. And that's where God trips up the over-righteous because... Um, if, if you're only reading the King James and you're trying to understand uh, what God's Word is saying, He's going to hide that from you because when you read Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8, you're not going to see it because it says, um, uh, here, let me read it to you, and then I'll try to interpret it for you. Um, it's... Uh, Habakkuk 2, 6 through 8, it says, Shall not all of these... Okay, it says um, in Habakkuk 2, 5, it says, He heapeth unto him all people. Uh, shall not all of these that you have heaped up uh, take up a parable against him in a taunting proverb? That's the Occupy Wall Street protest. Um, people were making songs. They were... Uh, you know, they know that, that, that we're winning and we're going to take them down. And it says, uh, And a taunting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. You know, that's um, our labors uh, through the federal income tax and how this system of, of lending and taxing is destroying the nation. It's tribute, it's the curse in Deuteronomy 28:43. So it's only natural that this system is going to destroy the nation. Uh, Woe to him who increaseth that which is not his. How long unto him that ladeth himself with thick clay. Now, you know, if you're over-righteous and you are reading that, you may not get what it's saying. I never got it. I'm not... I'm, I've never been learned in a school of Bible, Bible teaching to know what this means, but um, if you look at it in the original Hebrew, and I use the Strong's KJV uh, website, um, and to him that ladeth himself, that means to honor, glorify, uh, to make heavy, uh, to be heavy, weighty, grievous, hard, be rich, be honorable, glorious, be burdensome. Uh, so to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, this term with thick clay means weight of pledges or heavy debts. Um, he's weighted himself down with heavy debts. You know, he's lent the nations a lot of money so there's a lot of debts that um that have been incurred through this system uh, america is 17 trillion dollars in debt on paper and some 60 trillion or some odd dollars in debt through derivatives and uh, other forms of debt um around the world to the dollar so <clears throat> that is um, so basically um, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee um, lend upon usury lend interest by usury shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shall be booties unto them um, basically what it's saying is that the debtors are going to wake up. Shall not all of these 
who you have heaped unto yourself, take up a parable against him, which is Babylon. So the people are going to take up a parable. They are taking up a parable. <clears throat> They're waking up and they are going to destroy this beast, this Babylonian system. The Bible says, uh, the ten horns you saw upon the beast shall hate the whore. Um, so the beast is going to wake up and it's going to hate the whore, strip her naked and burn her with fire. And that's what's happening with this Occupy Wall Street and God's people when they figure it out, if they figure it out, uh, then the people are going to wake up. They're going to redeem themselves. Isaiah 48, 20 says, um, God hath redeemed his servant Jacob. Did he not lead them through the deserts and give them water from the rock? That's basically redeeming your straw man. Uh, that's basically breaking contract with them, with Babylon and going into the desert because now you can't get a job <clears throat> but there's no jobs anyway so i mean this whole system is going down because the the debtors are waking up <clears throat> so <clears throat> you know i know a lot of you don't want to go to the niv but just check out other translations <clears throat> excuse me just check out other translations and see what they're saying um, an old NIV Bible that I have says, Will not your debtors awake? Will they not arise? Then you will become their victim. But uh, the newer ones are saying, Creditor, will not your creditors arise? So, you know, they're changing the words and the terminology of, of their own translation. So it's interesting how their own works of their hands are going to be a testimony against them and no matter what they do it won't work so um, anyway uh, just to help you understand that um, what the new world order is help you understand um, how the nations are going to wake up um, the bible also says in isaiah 13 Speaking of Babylon, which is a curse in Deuteronomy 28:43, it says, um, "Lift up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand, and they may go into the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my sanctified ones; I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations um, gathered together. So uh, the Lord of hosts mustereth the host of battle of the battle. So the nations, you know, there's a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations that are, you know, the debtors waking up and they're going to destroy the new world order. They're going to destroy the new UN, the Federal Reserve, their fake money system and this whole system of commerce uh, that they have controlled because they counterfeit money. I mean, if you had a counterfeiting machine, I'm sure you'd be rich too. So. That's the New World Order. That's understanding the New World Order and how and and uh, the one world government, uh, you know, that is spoken of, you know, the one world government, the New World Order, and the beast is going to wake up and destroy this Babylonian system.